Welcome, space enthusiasts. Today's topic is a doozy one that may make you sit up and take notice. You see, we've got some bad news for planet Earth. While life here is currently thriving thanks to our oxygen-rich atmosphere, scientists predict that the end is near. The atmosphere is set to revert back to its pre-grade oxidation event state. And when it happens, it will happen quickly. But don't worry, we've got the full story for you. And we promise to take you on an action-packed journey through the science behind this ominous prediction. So buckle up, hit that like button, and subscribe to our channel because you won't want to miss what we have in store for you today. Have you ever wondered what would happen if our planet's oxygen levels were to decrease drastically? Well, it turns out that Earth's atmosphere will eventually revert to one rich in methane and low in oxygen. According to a study conducted earlier this year, when the change comes, it will happen quickly, leaving us little time to adapt. The shift will return the planet to a state similar to what it was before the Great Oxidation Event GOE, around 2.4 billion years ago. The authors of the study believe that atmospheric oxygen is unlikely to be a permanent feature of habitable worlds in general, which has implications for our efforts to detect signs of life further out in the universe. This means that our search for habitable planets outside of our solar system may need to look for other biosignatures besides oxygen to have the best chance of finding life. To arrive at their conclusions, the researchers ran detailed models of Earth's biosphere, taking into account changes in the brightness of the sun and the corresponding drop in carbon dioxide levels as the gas is broken down by increasing levels of heat. Less carbon dioxide means fewer photosynthesizing organisms like plants, which means less oxygen. Scientists previously predicted that increased solar radiation would wipe out ocean waters in about 2 billion years, but the new model predicts that a decrease in oxygen will kill off life first. The drop in oxygen is very, very extreme, Earth scientist Chris Reinhard from the Georgia Institute of Technology told New Scientist earlier this year, we're talking around a million times less oxygen than there is today. At that point, it will be the end of the road for humans and most other life forms that rely on oxygen to survive. So let's hope we figure out how to leave the planet within the next billion years. But what about microbial life? According to calculations done by Reinhardt and environmental scientist Kazumi Ozaki of Toho University in Japan, Earth's oxygen-rich habitable history may end up lasting only 20 to 30 percent of the planet's overall lifespan and microbial life will continue to exist long after we are gone. Now, you might be wondering how this shift will happen and what it will mean for life on Earth. Well, the researchers believe that the deoxygenation of the atmosphere with atmospheric O2 dropping sharply to levels reminiscent of the Archean Earth will most probably be triggered before the inception of moist greenhouse conditions in Earth's climate system and before the extensive loss of surface water from the atmosphere. This means that the end of our oxygen-rich atmosphere won't be caused by the sun turning into a red giant, but by the natural processes that govern our planet's climate. But the study does highlight the importance of taking care of our planet and its ecosystems. The more we learn about the natural processes that govern our planet's climate and atmosphere, the better equipped we are to make informed decisions that will help us preserve our planet's habitability. So let's appreciate the preciousness of the air we breathe and work together to take care of our planet. Who knows, maybe one day we will figure out a way to prevent this natural process. As we think about the future of our planet and the eventual loss of oxygen in our atmosphere, it's important to remember that we still have a long time to enjoy the oxygen-rich environment we have today. But wait, don't worry too much yet. This is unlikely to happen for another billion years or so. Yes, you heard that right, another billion years. For now, life is flourishing on our oxygen-rich planet, and we should enjoy it while we can. But as the scientists behind this study have emphasized, it's also important to consider the implications of this research for our search for life beyond our planet. If oxygen is not a permanent feature of habitable worlds, we may need to broaden our search for biosignatures that could indicate the presence of life. Ultimately, the story of our planet and the search for life beyond it is a story of exploration, curiosity, and the quest for knowledge. 
As we continue to learn more about the universe around us, we may discover that the fate of our planet and the existence of life elsewhere in the cosmos are more closely intertwined than we ever imagined. So, let us continue to explore, to learn, and to appreciate the world we live in, even as we recognize that everything we know is subject to change. For now, we can enjoy the oxygen-rich environment of our planet and look forward to the future with a sense of wonder and curiosity about what lies ahead. Wow, what a ride we just went on. We hope that you found our journey through the science behind Earth's potential atmospheric changes both fascinating and informative. While it's not great news for our planet, it's important to remember that this is still billions of years away and we have plenty of time to prepare. We want to thank you for joining us today and we hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories about space and beyond. And don't forget to check out our latest video, just waiting for you to click on it. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.